During cross-examination this morning, one of the prosecutors in the case against Tanya Kraft became visibly upset when questioning a defense witness. I'm a little tired of this playing out to these folks, Catoosa County Assistant District Attorney Lynn Greger said, pointing to the spectators in the courtroom and the video camera being used by the media. If this continues, I've not said anything all day, if it continues, you're going to be exited by the bailiffs going to take you out and the officers are going to take you out and you won't be allowed back in the courtroom. Mr. Greger also became angry when defense attorney Kerry King objected to a question about Ms. Kraft sending a promiscuous picture to a teenage boy, saying the state had not entered it in as evidence. Defense witness Paula D. Potter took the stand this morning testifying that she trusted Ms. Kraft with her children and never heard any complaints that she mistreated any child at the house. During his cross-examination of Ms. Potter, Mr. Greger brought out a list of questions that questioned the character of Ms. Kraft. Earlier, Ms. Potter testified that she and Ms. Kraft were good friends and that from 2006 to about halfway through 2008, her children went to Ms. Kraft's house every day after school. So if this stuff was as important um, to you as you've indicated, why didn't you contact Detective Veal, uh, Detective Key, or someone from the Sheriff's Department to tell them the information you told this jury? My children had no issues with Tanya, nor did I. I did not believe the allegations. Okay, but you're here, right? Yes. And no matter what, you're not going to believe the allegations. Is that fair to say? If the evidence presented itself, I am open to that, but no, I do not. Also taking the stand was Dr. Nancy Feynman, who testified she didn't see anything abnormal from the girls' photos after examining each child's medical exams. Well, it's difficult. We don't like to... Uh to think about children having sexual behaviors or, or thoughts or, or activities. But um, they do, don't they? But they do. But in prior testimony, sexual assault nurse examiner Sharon Anderson testified that two of the alleged victims she examined showed suspicious physical signs that were consistent with sexual abuse. Today, Dr. Feynman said, I don't find it very suspicious. I don't find it suspicious at all, she said in reference to the first child's exam. But Dr. Feynman agreed that many cases of sexual abuse don't show any physical evidence. Reporting from the Chattanooga Times Free Press, I'm Chris Carroll.